Hello everyone and welcome to my picking journey. Today what I have for you is what came inside this box. And it was exactly this bassy Euro cylinder type lock. Uh, as you see, the keyway is wide open. Come on, focus. It's wide open. Well, at least it's... I think this is just a good practice lock for me. Nothing very special, no security pins inside. And I think for practice, it's the perfect thing for me. Except of that, today I also introduce the new member of my toolset, this blue vise. I already tried it a couple of times, and as you see, it's not the best and highest quality of vise. It's by a company that it's called Draper, but I'm not sure if this is not just something stamped on a generic vise. Still, it does a great job. I tried it a couple of times, and now let's see if it will hold. I mean, I don't know it will hold the lock. Let's see what it takes to enter into this lock. Now, I've already removed the C clip on the back because I would like to get it. And because I don't have the proper tools for removing C clips, this was a real pain. I hope I will be able to save the time. And as well, I hope that I will not have a gutting disaster as I had already a couple of times trying to film this video. Now, to open this lock, I will try to use this interesting rake that I've used already a couple of times. And it does open the lock, but I will go very slowly about opening it. I will mostly rake up and down instead of moving forward and backwards because that's the way I popped the core a couple of times already. Now, moderate tension. And I'm also keeping my finger tight in front of the core because I'm really afraid of popping the core out. What I learned today is that you just need, if you're intending to gut Euro cylinder, actually any kind of lock that has those C clips on the back, you just need a proper tool for the purpose. Trying it with screwdrivers and different kind of tensioning tools, in it's just it doesn't worth the effort. Get yourself the proper tool to save some time. I decided to risk right now another getting and okay, we have an open. As you can see, that's I think I could make it a little bit faster if I'm using maybe another rake or if I'm not afraid that the core will pop out. Now, the other thing that I really want to do for this specific core is to actually single pin pick it. I'll use a standard hook and I hope, let me get some light here, and I hope I will be able to do it in good time. Now, I'll apply moderate tension because, first of all, tension is one of the things you learn with time and practice. And I think for now, on this kind of locks, a moderate to heavy tension is the way for me to go. Now, I think I'm on pin 5. It's binding. And I'm looking for that beautiful, nice click. Come on. Nope, that was not it. Also, I'm having difficulty positioning myself on exactly on top of pins. I think that was number four. Three, two, one, nothing. Two, that's three. Springy, four, nothing. I think now I'm at five. It's a five pin lock. Hmm, I didn't show you the keys. I will do that in a second. Come on. As you see, I'm just having the difficulty of positioning my pick on top of the pin. I will release just a little bit the pressure because that's maybe another thing, another reason why I can't push it. And I say push it, not lift it. Also, as you see, the lock is positioned and I lost tension. 
let's try with this one. Uh, what I was saying is, as you see, the lock is positioned this way. The reason behind that is, first of all, I'm in Europe and here I've never seen a lock positioned the opposite way. Uh, I think the tensioning tool I'll use is this wiper blade shaved on the ends. Come on. Yeah, like that. Um, I think till now it has done quite a good job at tensioning and I will tension at the bottom of the keyway. And yes, as you see, I call this the bottom of the keyway because my whole life I've been seeing that as the bottom of the keyway. I still haven't met professional lock pickers here in Europe to confirm if here it is called uh, the opposite way to the way they call it in Amer uh, America and I think in the UK as well. They see this as the bottom of the keyway and this is as the top. Still, I don't know. I find it quite interesting. Hmm. Now I'm on the five and I am able to push it. But I still, I'm looking for that beautiful click. Oh, that was it. Another bender. Is it one? A I heard a click. Let's go to the next pin. Three, nothing. And we have an open. I'm very happy I managed to do that in, well, not reasonable time, but I'm still learning. Bear with me. Now, let's get this and see what's inside. Uh, the way I'm gonna do. And also, actually, I'm quite happy that I managed to avoid a uh, cutting disaster. By pulling out the core. Now let's lock the core. Come on. Lock it in this position. Use this wiper blade insert to lock all the pins inside the Bible. And now use the hook to pull out the core. For the first time, cutting. Please survive watching this, but I will put the pins nearby one another. Three, so, and all five pins. As you see, nothing. Hmm. Shall I put them this way? Yeah. Come on. So the pins, standard. Nothing quite interesting there. And now, let's see what's here inside. I will just pop them out, one after another. So that's the last one. Another one. And since I know they're all the same, here it is, the insides of my first picked and gutted Euro cylinder type lock. Of course, while filming, my storage had to get full. I used the opportunity to order the pins and the things I had on the table so that you could see them well. And I'm very happy that I managed to finally pin, uh, unlock, single pin pick and gut a Euro cylinder. And I also, I'm very happy that it wasn't a gutting disaster while actually opening the lock. Well, guys, that's all I have for now. Some very cool things are coming my way. One of them, proper tools for gutting, repinning a lock and i'm very eager to receive them and show them to you well that's all for now if you like my content want to support me please subscribe hit like it helps a lot and share my videos thank you for your time stay legal and till next time bye